Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Introduce yourself. I, Patekin Alexander Michovich, 6th of July, 1978, year of birth, place of birth, the city of Belgorod. 78th year, Belgorod. Yes, sir. Your military rank and position. My military rank was senior lieutenant and my position was rifleman. How can a real officer, a senior lieutenant, be a rifleman? You're supposed to be at least a platoon leader, a company commander. The enlistment office sent me as a platoon commander, that's 200. Let's go in order, we'll get to this now, because I started a little wrong. Do you give voluntary consent to the recording, to the publication? Yes, I agree. You are 44 years old. This year I will be 45. 45. When did you get to Ukraine? On the 3rd, well the 4th we crossed the border because we arrived at night. We got there on the 4th of December, drove up in Kamazes. We came to some village, next to Jelikin? Genichesk, we were near the city of Genichesk. And there you were already in your new company, as far as I understand. No, it was the same military company, it was a full company. Then, when it was an incomplete military company, it was the month of January, the middle of the third week. Before we were taken prisoner, for three weeks I was in. in the Kostroma Regiment. That is, I was transferred back when we were near Genichesk. Were there fights or not? We were only taken to the firing range to dig trenches and shoot. You have been taught? Yes. Where were you sent after training? After training, I was transferred to the 31, you know, this one, also nearby, yes, this is my wife. During training, were you trained as an officer, as a first lieutenant? No, as a private, as a private. Were you told you were going to shoot? Yes, because they said there was. Well, that's probably why I was transferred to the 311. What is it connected with? With the fact that they have a unit commander. And, I just. They said that I would go there, and that was it. You served in the Airborne Forces, right? Well, I'm generally a shooter, well, I'm generally a civilian. Well, yes. Did you have stars? Yes, sure. And you, an officer, were led by a sergeant. This is fine? No. This is nonsense in general, and you were enrolled in a platoon, an officer, in an ordinary position. Did you have a pistol? No, where from? There, the platoonman did not have a pistol. The officer must have a pistol. Agree. Why did they do so? None of the platoon men had a pistol, not even in 331. What, ran out of guns? There were no pistols. And the company commander didn't have a gun. The company commander? And if you need to shoot yourself, then how? A machine with a butt is not suitable for this. Yes sir. Why do you say army words? You just said you were a civilian. Or have you already two months, okay, that is, well, in general, I like such troops. Excellent in general, very good troops. You understand that what you're saying is nonsense, complete nonsense. A sergeant was in charge of an officer in the army. Yes. Did you contact the company commander? You said it shouldn't be that way? Well, maybe a junior in rank, even, a captain can supervise a colonel. It's okay to be there with an officer, that is, in my opinion. You can't even do that by statute, as far as I. Yes, you can't, but... And what did the commander say? Did you see the combatant? I saw him once. When did you arrive at the combat positions? When we were found. Do you know that? Our subscribers paid for you. Yes, you said. 
$2,200, they took him and six other people. And they said eight in my opinion, no? Only seven. Seven. Seven, right. We paid off the military. Six people for 300, and you, for $400, although in fact, you are not an officer. Tell me how you were taken prisoner. Come on, how long have you spent on the front line? Three days. Was it fresh? Yes very. Everyone was in the sand. What did they eat? Dry rations were brought, yes, two rations. Well, yes, three days. How were you captured? Damn, two were on duty. They said over the radio that artillery fire was coming, everybody to the trenches. Wait it out. It was at this moment, just in the trench, that they captured us. From the flank. Yes, they went in from the side, and they killed someone else there. Yes, one ran. Why did he run? Don't know. You were captured by fewer people than there were prisoners from your side. How many soldiers were there? It was definitely less. Less, but we saw the guys to whom we gave the money. In short, it was cool there, our military went into the trenches, there someone twitched and they just shot him. If he did not make unnecessary movements, he would now be alive. Why did this person die? That person was mobilized, well, I talked to him. His last name? No, I only know his name, Anatoly, Tolik. From what city? From Omsk. Omsk? You don't remember his last name, Tolik from Omsk is the 200th. Yes? Yes, Tolik. What did he die for? I have no answer. Why is there no answer? I have. I have and you don't. This does not happen, you are older than me, you are a real senior lieutenant. What would you die for? If you don't know why he died, Tolik. For my parents, for my children. Were your parents and children in danger? No. Why are you talking this nonsense? I replied what would I die for? No. I wanted. Let's suppose, let's suppose, you're dead. Your daughter, to whom we wrote. She wouldn't understand why I died. So what would you die for? Not that you say for your family, but answer my question now. What if here? Yes, if you were killed here. I don't know why. For the motherland? No, I can't put it that way. For Putin? All the worst is behind you, you survived. Yes, it turns out that it is. It turns out that so, for Putin and his fantasies. Yes. What is his fantasy? Expand the boundaries. Don't have enough space? Of course not. Do you live so beautifully that you have an overcrowded area and nowhere to live? The area is huge, but... You went to St. Petersburg from Belgorod, in my opinion, not from a good life. You wandered around rented apartments, left a disabled child and a second daughter. How old is she? Daughter is 16. 16 years. For Putin, for his wet fantasies. As they say, collector of Russian lands. And he also said that the Russian language is being infringed upon here. No, I talked with many, everyone spoke Russian, those who took me prisoner, they approached our trenches. They talked to you some more, and they were. We didn't even know what it was. It's cool there, they say, hi, hello from Ukraine. Because we didn't have. Nothing. There was no password or how to say it. But the sergeant was experienced. Contractor. They said he was experienced. It was interesting there. The military told me what had happened. There you can shoot a film according to this scenario, right? Comedy, tragicomedy. 
Tragicomedy. Well, for ours, a comedy, but for yours, somehow it turns out that I know Russian better than you. How does it work? Are you disappointed in the army? Of course. And what exactly? In that. A command that knows nothing of what, how, and generally does not understand the goals or objectives. Did you know your goals and objectives? Something like this. With your permission, we call your wife. Of course. Do you allow? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? It will be great without you. Without us? What have I done wrong to you? Oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's okay. Why are you calling? So wait, yes you talk to him. Here is your husband. I'm here. He is in captivity. Are you a savior? No, I'm an ordinary journalist. I just can't say anything. My name is Dimitri, I am a journalist. I'm talking to your husband. What kind of journalist are you, Russian or Ukrainian? Ukrainian, of course. Why do you say Russian? He is in captivity. He is in captivity. Did you know it? No, we didn't know anything about him. Here, I'm telling you, he is in captivity, he was taken prisoner. He is a senior lieutenant. Now you will know everything about it. If you want to talk to him, you must consent to the recording and publication of this conversation. Where will you publish it? On the American Internet. For what? Well, this is our order, this is the rule of our platform. What will you tell America how you mock the Russian forces? Nobody is mocking, oh yeah. Wait, wait, what are you? Do you want to talk to him? Well it. Want. You will only do this for the video, but what happens then? And then? Wait, if you want to talk to him, I'll. Let's pretend that. You agree? I will talk to him. Let me talk to you first. Let's. Let's talk. So I even see that you are married, right? Yes. Yes, well. And does your wife know what you do? Yes, he knows, I even have a child. My kid knows what I do, can you imagine? Need to hang a Muscovite? I never said such a thing, but if you like it. Tell me, I take it that the command does not know that they are prisoners. Is he the only one caught? The command knows about it. We had a whole gang of seven captured. Command knows. It's strange that you don't know. Wait, wait, you'll talk to your wife some more. Are you mocking him? No. Yes, you wait. All. Wait you. Strong or weak, what do you mean by weak? And how strong is it? I'm just wondering. You can be treated differently, not allowed to drink and eat, or you can. I don't know if you rape there. Well, are you beating him up? Can I smoke? Are you beating, starving? Well, look, the Ukrainian captivity is useful. What is useful? Well, first of all, he quit smoking. Second, he has a healthy diet. He eats regularly, imagine that. He has a bed, water, a shower. When you were in the army, when you fought, how many times did you wash up during all that time? Before I was captured by you, I did not bathe for a month. He hasn't bathed in your army for a month. It turns out that you are the Savior's glory. God bless you that my husband has food and bed. I don't believe in God, I believe in the Ukrainian armed forces and the fact that he is a prisoner of war. Now, I don't understand what you journalists are doing. You need to highlight it, make fun of it, show that the Ukrainian forces are wonderful. Take prisoners and treat prisoners of war well. It's like I'm in the interview right now. I have one question for you. If not for him. I would have been killed. Wait a second, wait. I have one question for you, do you want to talk to your husband? Or you are wondering that I have a wife and a child. I also have a car. Two phones and two laptops. What are you doing? Are you on a good mission? 
Or are you now? Yes, this is a humanitarian mission. Already like your husband, we recorded 600 people on video and thanks to this video. And what? In short, okay, I'm not interested. Will you talk to your husband? Yes or no? Yes. Do you consent to the recording and publication of the conversation? Yes or no? I do not care. Just say yes. You don't care? Yes. Okay, speak up. Finally. Fuck, you don't say where you are. Of course. Fuck. Oh yeah. Why are you doing this to me? And I'm not in shock? Tell me, what's going on? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Be quiet. Oh yeah. I'm under normal conditions. If it weren't for this man, I would have been shot a long time ago or sent to a minefield. They will send you a video. They will send a video. It will have to be sent to the military registration and enlistment office. They won't. If she wants to, she'll find it herself. You can find it yourself on the internet. And with this video, with this video, you need to go to the military unit. I don't know which department, probably Ivanova. I was drafted from there in order for them. They exchanged me. Fine. Understood? And ask this apostle where can I find this video? And the apostle is busy now. Sorry. On the internet, on the internet, on the internet. YouTube, look it up on YouTube. YouTube channel Apostle Vladimir Zolkin. And I'm Dimitri, the second apostle. Vladimir Zolkin? Zolkin, yes. Vladimir, Dimitri Zolkin. Apostles. I'll write it down now. Is the apostle a good thing or a bad thing? This is good. Oh good. How long have you been in captivity? Since the 5th of February. We were taken prisoner on the 5th of February, my mother's birthday. He is an apostle. Vladimir, maybe you need money? Your husband in particular cost $400. If you put the money on the card to the exchange fund, we'll save some other lieutenant. Tell me the number. How much is $400? How many rubles? 25,000 rubles. I will transfer 20,000 rubles to you, Vladimir Zolkin, I earn enough, and so be it, I will donate to you. You don't know how to make money otherwise, I'll donate 25,000 to you. No, it's not like that, it's subscribers, you don't get it. And where to transfer, to which card? You don't need to transfer money. We are apostles, nourished by the Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, you are the one, find this video and send it to the unit. Go to the unit, show this video. Are you being mocked? We are not mocked here. We eat twice a day, go to the shower. We also wash our clothes. What for? Yes, I can see by your condition. What is my condition? I'm just being held captive. And what should he look like in captivity? How should I look in captivity? So I'm telling you this, Dmitri Zolkin. What am I talking about? And here it is. I'm telling you, oh yeah, if it wasn't for this man I would have been killed somewhere. And no one would even have found me, because they would have pulled out this token and that's it. This man is engaged in the exchange of prisoners. I don't do exchanges, the military does. Exchanges are made by the military, and he contributes. Can I explain? Yes, yes. See Olga to motivate our fighters so that they don't kill killers like your husband. Marauders and rapists, we pay money to our military so that they do not shoot them in the trenches. Yes, they are shot, and our subscribers collect money, and we pay our military. That's all. Do you know what Ukrainians are doing in Donbass? In the Donbass? Do you want to ask what the Ukrainians were doing in the Donbass? Yes. They mocked, they killed, they raped. They raped girls in Kharkiv, this could not be ignored. Look, first of all, I am an apostle, and I saw from above that what you say is not true. First. Second, Kharkiv, whose city is this? Kharkiv, whose city is this? And to you, Lady Olga, I want to remind you that the fire from Belgrade destroyed. Northern Saltovka. 
The daily shelling continues to this day. And in Bielgorod now they are also shooting a little bit. And Donbass is whose city? Who's Donbass, Ukrainian? Initially, it was Russia. What the hell? Then Ukraine began. I don't want to start a historical debate for the reason that it would be embarrassing for you. Look, your husband is in captivity, if you want to take him back. Wait for this video to be released on the channel. Take this video. Will he live until then? Oh yeah, thanks to this person, before me, so many people have already been exchanged here. I'm not the military. The military, and this man contributes to it. This video is proof that he is alive and that he needs to be listed and exchanged. How can you not understand this? This is how it should be. Okay, I mean, I'm now, I mean, you post a video, I'm looking for it. Where should I transfer 25,000? You don't have to transfer the money. Oh yeah, you should find this video on the internet and go to to the regiment, but it's better to come there. I understood. Better go there in person. Well, find it there. Regiment commander. I heard, I understood where to go with this video. Fine. Here. You may not go at all. Your FSB, GRU, MVD, KGB will look at it anyway. If you get there, the exchange will happen faster. They will consider the situation. Of course, a whole senior lieutenant. A lot of your military can be traded for a first lieutenant, right? Yes, and here, what kind of senior am I? How much can they give? Well, I don't know, the higher the position, the more. I'll make you laugh, your senior lieutenant's position was. She knows. Private. Shooter. Shooter. She knows. Your wallpaper is a little off. Somehow. But your walls are well whitewashed, aligned. Well, how can you make money like that? I don't know how to make money like that in a war. If I made money in the war. Oh yeah, they don't earn money here, they save people here. Well, it's not my fault that in prison the premises are better than at your place. Okay, I propose to end this set of accusations. Oh yeah. And words. These are all words. Yep, on YouTube. But YouTube, you remember. On American YouTube. Yes Vladimir. Vladimir Zolkin. Need some American YouTube? You wrote it down, Vladimir Zolkin. Anyway, stop talking about nothing. Please do this. Do you have a question for me? I can ask tricky questions, you won't answer. You try. Olga, you don't have to. No, come on, that's just such a difficult, tricky question. No, I don't care about anything except my husband's condition and his health. I don't care about anything else. Are your arms and legs okay? Yes. I'm healthy, I'm fine, other people are unlucky. Those who stepped on a mine are treated here. A nurse arrives, that is, a doctor, almost every day. They make bandages. We did not have such medicine. I don't think so. The doctor came, gave me medicine for a toothache, my teeth stopped hurting. He says everything is great. No, I'm telling you seriously, here are good conditions for captivity. And what else would you say sitting next to him, so that you would be completely finished off there? Oh yeah. In general, no one is beaten here, we eat twice a day. Oh yeah stop talking about all this, do what you were told, show the video to the regiment. And we will wait. Many have already been exchanged here. I'm just talking to my friends. Take off your hat, please. I'm bald, what else? No hair was transplanted. Raise. Who? Pick up a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. What did you want to see? DVD, VDV. Don't pull in your belly, it won't lose weight. I wanted to see footprints. I just wanted to watch the beatings. No beatings. Get undressed.
It's funny to you. Olya, stop laughing here, please don't. What should I look like? I had a beard even when I was taken prisoner, three days had passed in total. He didn't bathe in the army. I'm talking about cleaning. What is she talking about? Olya will you do it? Do everything and tell them not to worry. Tell my father and mother, tell me everything is fine. All. Bye. So is the question going to be? Yes, I don't want to ask any more. The apostle is ready to answer any question. Oh please. Why don't you let him talk to his mother? Is that Sasha? And mom, hi, hi. He is in captivity. Hi mom, everything's fine. We are well fed, everything is fine. Hold the phone, I'm already tired. It's okay mom, it's okay. We are waiting for Olya to do what we told her, and we will wait for my exchange. Good good. To let the regiment know that I am alive. She must provide them with this record. Are you being beaten? No, no, it's all right. Mom, it's okay. Lula kebab was for lunch today. In pots. Everything is fine, we eat tightly every day, twice a day. Everything is fine. I will do what you said. Okay, bye. This is not for me. Do what it takes for me do it. It's not for me at all. I understand what he is asking. I heard everything. That's all, thank you. We turn off. All Russia. What was it? May I have a cigarette? Yes. Wow, what was that all about? Yes, this is my wife. I don't know if she's a good wife or a bad one. How to say? I now even understand why you ran away with her. I will take. No, you can only look at the cigarette. Yes, sure, what are you all? What was it just now? It's like. How is it, in psychology? It's clear she's zombified. Zombified is one thing, but character. And where in Kharkov they rape people that you can't pass by. Oh. Yes, this is the media, there are so many things. Who bombed the Donbass? Also in the media. Donbass was doomed. How does it work for you? Is your whole country like that? Zombified? Yes. Well, I know this, because you are already my 500th. Thank you for even talking to family. That's all, thank you. Thanks. It was very interesting, honestly.